in Cape Town, guys. I didn't know what was this. It's called colors. <laughs> Maybe what I came here for is not here. Like, I will not get into English, Helena. <laughs> I can't believe I'm at work. <laughs> Guys, Yagoa, Yagoa, guys, I don't even want to talk about it because I'm going to start crying on camera and I don't want to. Job hunting is not easy. Guys, I have a job. Like, I've got a permanent job. Hi, bro. A whole entire of me just signed and accepted a job offer. Drop the roof and let it smoke clear. I got diamonds to win since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight Fuck or not, I keep the koala in my shorty bag You know she want a mom when she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy she Morning guys um, I'm looking crusty AF But I'm gonna take a bath now So today is the 18th of February 2022 So Saturday is currently 9am Let me confirm yeah it's nine nine oh one so um today is the day i am relocating kind of thing am i relocating yes i'm relocating i'm going to cape town to look for a job because i've been sitting at home for almost two months now and i've been applying but nothing is happening and i don't want to spend another month sitting at home if you've worked before and you've been unemployed you would know the pain of sitting at home it's not a pleasant thing to do as much as it's nice to spend time with family it's nice to rest but it's not nice sitting at home knowing very well that you don't have a job so um i joined a few agencies and after registering with them they're willing to work with me so i need to like move and go to where they want me to be so that I can get that orientation and start working. I just want to like thank um this lady who DM'd me on Facebook. She's a subscriber. It's Kibui Leki. Kibui Lamang. I'll put her name here on the screen. She's literally the person who DM'd me after watching my Comserve episode two. And she was just like, girl, in Cape Town, there's a lot of agencies come through. Okay, she gave me all the information I needed. She gave me literally all the information I needed to move to Cape Town. Um, helped me with um, a a accommodation agents. So I just want to thank you so much, Siswami. You don't know what you've done for me. And I'm just really hoping good to wherever I'm going to go. Young Indo is all longer and everything is going to go well. So yeah, I'm literally starting this journey. <laughs> Excited. And very scared at the same time because you never know what's gonna happen but i'm a person who is all about trying just try you lose nothing in this process i've got nothing to lose guys and i've got so much to gain at the same time so i'm literally taking the leap of faith and going to cape town um at least i've i know a few people now it's it's the funniest thing ever you know um when god wants something for you everything just aligns can you believe Guti? From this past week, literally this past week, I started talking with people who are in Cape Town. People have been availing themselves. It's crazy, guys. It's crazy. Without even me telling them, Guti, I am planning on moving to Cape Town. But people have been like, come through. We got you. We got you. So I already know like a few people that side. So I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. And yeah, I'm excited. Cannot wait to see what's going to happen there. Um... This is literally one of the things that I've prayed for. One of the things that I've always wanted to relocate to Cape Town. It's literally in my vision board. I'll show you guys at the end of the year. Cape Town is literally there at the center of my vision board. So I'm excited, Guti. It's coming to life. And I always believe, Guti, for most of the things on my vision board to come, come true, I need to move to Cape Town first get a job and then everything else i'm gonna achieve through working do you understand so it's literally the center of my vision board it's the main thing on my vision board i'm about to bath because my flight is leaving at um 25 to 4 yeah ah 25 to 5 eh 16:35. get 25 to 5 so yeah it's leaving around that time so i'm just gonna bath now fix my hair you know fix my outfit 
make sure that i've packed everything and leave at around one i don't want the repeat of durban to east london you know missing a flight i don't want that so yeah i'm gonna try by all means to be there two hours early so that i can check in my bags i've already checked in online <laughs> i'm serious this time i've already checked in online so i'm just gonna check in my bags at the airport and then chill maybe have lunch and then have lunch and then um yeah and then leave i'm gonna miss this little person here mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ma, ma. Ma, 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 yes, we kiss here now. I'm gonna miss her so much. Hey, <laughs> that do it, you almost done. Like, I, in the morning, this is when we give her her medication. It's like, it does not want medication. So, we put her medication in her food because she fights us and the it means up like we literally fight that's what she does so you can never get anything without adding it so we add it to cereal yogurts um yeah anything smooth anything smooth that's why we, we add her medication because she was sick a few days ago right say a pop say a pop say bye bye say bye bye yeah <laughs> yeah guys um opening it gets like and get ready to go i'm wearing my young nurses in double t-shirts <laughs> our trade union don't mind our kitchen it's a mess but today we're waking up with champagne champagne for the girlies for the girlies who are going to Ooh, period as i've grown from the first time or my first and second year on youtube like there's a difference there's a huge difference so I'm gonna So I'm all dressed and ready to go. I'm just waiting for my ride to get here. It's um what time is it? But it's good, Makajen! Ten to one. And yeah, I'm about to leave guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. guys so i'm at wimpy um i want to get something to eat i have not eaten today my head is so itchy but i have not eaten today so i came to get something to eat um my flight will be leaving in an hour's time so i've got like literally an hour to sit here and eat i'm also gonna just edit because i'm running out of space you know your girl has been lazy i haven't been editing as i should be so my vlogs are piling up, my videos are piling up, I need to do what I'm supposed to do, I guess, what I'm supposed to do, so I'm gonna sit here and edit a vlog for you, so that you guys can see it, okay, and then once it's done, it's definitely gonna be linked, I hope I remember to link it, because I realized that I actually forget to link stuff that I, was, I said I was gonna link, so yeah, I'm just waiting for my food, I ordered the big bacon and cheeseburger, and a mango juice and yeah i'm gonna show you guys when my food gets here but hey hey 
Yes, yeah, I have The bags are were weighing. All my bags are weighing more than they should. So the maximum weight for your bag is. So the maximum weight for your bags is um, what is this? 30, 20 cages, and my bags were weighing more than that. So mad. So yeah, also I had to pay for the extra luggage. Um, it did cost me money that I <laughs> didn't think it was gonna cost me, but it's fine. It's all sorted out now. I just hope it's gonna be worth it. I actually have a feeling that it's gonna be worth it. I'm confident that it's gonna be worth it. I'll not regret this decision this day today, okay? Yeah, so yeah, let me have my juice, get the mango juice, and then I'll talk to you guys. I don't know when, but I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. And my food is here in less than five minutes. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be. Hey guys, so I'm going to vlog. I'm not going to vlog. I'm going to vlog. I'm going to the boarding gate right now. Boarding gate. You can imagine. I can't even speak English at this point. Maybe I'm going to overwhelm now. I'm going to be long. You are a guy. I think I'm anxious. That's why I'm long. I'm going to be long. Okay? Forgive me. Please forgive me for giving me. Like it's about to rain. Yo, uh, guys, I hope Cape Town has better weather. Or oh, Western Cape, because I don't think I'll be in like Cape Town, Cape Town. So I hope there's like better weather. Let me take a picture. <laughs> Obviously, like have lunch or something because from tomorrow's Yakala. So, if I can spoil myself and have a bit of fun today, then great, I'm gonna do it. Now, as far as land, long since this city has You guys know, as far as right, yes, we're both here. It's the lady who was doing my hair, a um, lady smith. So, yeah, we're on the way there. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I love it so much, you know, it from the sheen hole again i feel like everything i've been like it's from the sheen hole <laughs> but yeah i'll talk to you guys when we get there This is so good, guys. Mm -hmm. This is why you must spoil yourself. Have fun. What's their card? I've been saying this. So, see, I want to have fun today. Because from tomorrow, see, yeah, colors are lila. Hectic. So the only way is by having fun. That's a Sunday, it's a chill day. 
good, good. How was the food? The food was great, but the only thing that was confusing, I didn't know what was this. It's Kokoles. <laughs> guys uh, okay today is a very gloomy day it's also raining okay it was raining earlier but it's very gloomy in cape town today and in shake the tea no more yeah you know we are hairstyle more shake anyway um today i am going to be looking for accommodation i just want a place that i can rent i don't care how small the place is i just want a place where i can say this is my place and then get settled and then i will then look for like a proper place as time goes once i start working ne? so i'm just looking for a place to stay it does not have to be fancy it just needs to be safe then i should be good it needs to be safe and very convenient like i need to be able to go to the shops if i want to without maybe having to request or whatever so i just want a convenient place that is safe and that is affordable because uh, we all know rent is expensive here in Cape Town. So yeah. Also, I don't know whether I'm starting a new vlog or what. At this point, I am just vlogging, guys. I will only see when I'm editing whether where, where the vlog ends, you know. So I never know when to introduce or when to end the vlog. I'm just gonna be vlogging, okay? <laughs> just bear with me. There's a lot going on. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm about to leave now. I'm waiting for my ride. Then we're gonna go and see this place if i like it i'm gonna move in today but i've got i think two more places to view after this one so i'm gonna view and then see which one i like the most which one is convenient then we'll take it from there so i'm gonna be with you guys i hope you all are good and um yeah it's very it's very windy here ever since i got here it's windy it's very windy guys but so far it's been good i'm happy to be here I'm proud of myself for doing this and I just hope like only good things come out of this because it's a huge thing for me it means a lot and I cannot wait to rip the fruits of my labor up <laughs> in racism whereby you know even for residents purposes to move in into a certain place you always have to challenge Guys, I'm going to go to the Cape Town and then I'm going to go to the Cape Town. It's also raining, I got rain down a bit because when I opened my umbrella, it was on my Anyway, um, that did not go well. Okay, those places are just a big no for me. I couldn't even show you guys <laughs> because I was just so disappointed. So. I did contact a few agents and I'll be going to view this other place at around 5 p.m. today. Hopefully, I can, it can look as it is advertised, you know. So if that one is as advertised, then I'm going to take it. Um, one thing I can say is that um, accommodation is very expensive here. And some places are just not worth the price. But... Yeah... I can't say something that I did not expect. I expected that. When I came here, I knew exactly that the rent is expensive. And for now, I'm just going to settle for whatever that I'm going to find and then work. And then once I'm settled, then I'm going to get a nice place for myself. 
so all I want right now is just a place where I can stay, affordable place, get a job, work, and then and then take it from there. So I'm waiting for my ride right now. I'm gonna go back to my friend's place because I'm currently with a friend, Ms. Pogazi. So I'm gonna go back to her and yeah, I'll probably just gonna spend the rest of the day looking for a place, calling people, and all of that. So yeah. I'll talk to you guys when we get home. Morning, guys. Today is the 21st of February 2023. We're still in Cape Town. It's Zamin Pilo, but for it's nothing, nothing more than that. Anyway, yesterday did not go well. Yesterday was terrible yesterday drained me yesterday was a lot yo i get it guys cape town so when i went to those places i i just couldn't accept them i just couldn't stay there because it does not make sense guys it does not make sense like the the the, the beginning of the bed and the end of the bed Ubonda. and you can't even fit a wardrobe you can't even fit a fridge you can't you can't fit anything i was just wondering if i decide to stay here and pay three thousand just for glala i was just like no bathrooms are shitty like you're sharing like no 10 go floor you're sharing one bathroom okay it's not just like one toilet it's about like three and then I was doubting no man's a corner and she's a and the kitchen is dirty. I was just like, you know what? No. So today we're gonna try again and go and view places, um, look at different places while looking for um Benzi. Um yesterday I called the South African Nursing Council um Gibuza about my status. So um I I I tell you when I go on the sunk website then I'm still registered as ComServe, even though I finished my ComServe two months ago. So because of that, um, agencies are like, they cannot work with me because I am still registered as ComServe. It's not all the agencies, but some have told me what they want my status to change first from ComServe to professionalness then they can work with me. So that thing is a bit discouraging because what if they all decide to say, so I'm going to have to wait for eight weeks because when I called that guy, he told me the process takes about eight weeks. So have to wait. Have to wait. You're waiting. You don't even have a place to stay. You're at your friends. But, but um, we'll try again. We'll see. Probably apply Naguma retail retail stores. What do you call them? Go Woolworths, Nagupkup supermarkets as well. Gonna apply today and see how everything goes. But we're very hopeful. Okay, even though yesterday drained me, I'm not gonna lie. It was a lot, guys. I feel like um, I had told myself good everything was gonna go well, everything was gonna be perfect, and it was not. So today, I'm saving. A room for disappointment that was my mistake yesterday there was no room for disappointment i thought everything was gonna go well so i'm saving a room for disappointment if it does not go well we're gonna try again we're just gonna keep on trying because unfortunately if you don't do it for yourself no one is gonna do it for you okay so I'm gonna eat now get it and get out of here i'll talk to you guys guys it's giving restaurant. As well as restaurant, you can pass. You'll be the chef. I'll handle the finances. <laughs> no, she is low. I like to cook my zeg. Are you in it? This is where we're supposed to be. Yeah, I get guys another day, another struggle. Another day, another struggle in the city of Cape Town. We're looking for accommodation. <laughs> yeah, this is all viewer, like, guys. Hoping we'll see you on Gindis or Hamburg. I'm sure. 
Oh ja. Zakala. Go, Shana Lapane, and I said to Russia, but I think it's somewhere here because we are sure to sit around some Sunday Hille, Campele, as a Sim London. The block is going to be painted by in, in four months' time. Okay. The whole building. Okay, okay. Yeah. So they're all busy with it. There's actually a lot of rooms here. Yeah, there is. Yeah, to me it looks fine, honestly. I like it and it's quite spacious. It is. And the other thing is that you're, um, it's a ground unit. Yeah. Luckily, it's not on this. Yeah. Again? Yeah. Thank you. Shop of way to you. It's another day in Cape Town and I am shopping for bedding. I don't know if I want to comfort her or I want a juvet and a juvet cover. I think I'm gonna just compare the prices and then decide what I'm gonna take. Okay, okay, so this is a juvet inner and then the cover, probably gonna be a bit pricey as well. How much is it? It's, it's 479, then you get the pillowcases and everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this for it now. Welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. Hi, no, hi, David. Period. I know that's right. So, guys, we got a bedding. I am so happy. Let's go. And I love this big, big, big plastic. Like, it fits everything. So, we are happy. Period. Period. I know you want it. <laughs> so annoying.
like to sign the last paper? Um, I don't know where I put my pen. Do you have a pen with you? Okay, I just want to like quickly update you guys now. Right now I'm on my way to Tiger Valley Mall. I want to go and exchange my bedding. So the other day I bought double size bedding. But that's because I thought I was going to buy a double bed. But then when I got to the shop, they didn't have double beds. So I ended up taking a queen size bed. So now I need to go and change the bedding so that's what i'm going to be doing today i have a problem also with my gums like that they swollen so if i can go and see a dentist i will do it sometime this week i've just been like spending a lot of money and i don't like it <laughs> i'm starting to hate it honestly so yeah but that's all the updates i wanted to give you guys i hope you all are good it's so hot here and my skin is skinning okay So I did not find the exact thing that I had bought before, like the exact colors. So I'm gonna take this. Well, not colors, this. But the other one is gray. I just made my bed and this is what it looks like. I actually like it. There's still like a lot of stuff in this room and unfortunately i may be stuck with it for like the longest time but i'm chilled like i'm cool the room looks okay so i'm not complaining i'm not really complaining hey um, today is the first of march my birthday month okay um i don't know how i feel about my birthday coming soon because i'm broke not working so <laughs> this why Gingego show would see am i happy am i sad or whatever but what i know is that i'm not ready for my birthday i wanted to do like something really nice for myself like celebrate but i don't know if i'll be able to celebrate because at this point i am just trying to use my money wisely you know like just use it for like the important things like rent um send money at home make sure that i've got food at home that got, they've got food at home make sure that all the important things are taken care of you know like i can always celebrate my birthday later so i'm not sure how i feel about it but we'll see as the week goes but yeah guys it's almost my birthday and I'm definitely not where I thought I was gonna be by the time Gushai birthday am. But again, we plan and got plans. Anyway, I just got back from what is this? From Goodwood. I went to register with an agency and I am just hopeful that they're gonna book me. Like I'm gonna start getting booked because I am kind of settled here. Yeah? It took a lot let me sit down it took a lot for me to get here honestly like the first week was hell the first week was a lot for me it was just too much emotions i was crying every day because i felt like maybe what i came here for is not here like i will not get into english helena because it was just so difficult to find a place to stay guys i promise you it's not easy to find a place to stay in Cape Town. Um, there are a lot of places, but it's either those places are pricey, like very, very expensive, or they're not in safe places, or there's no transport. So I wanted to be in a place that has obviously easy access to transport. I wanted everything to be convenient because I do not have a car. So I wanted to be able to walk to the shops, um, walk to the taxi rank, and just be in an area that has surrounding hospitals so that I can get booked to AMA hospitals that are not too far from me. So it was difficult to get a place that has all those things, you understand? But um, by the grace of God, guys, you know, one thing about God, he, he he pulled through for me on this one Shim. but by the grace of god i ended up getting a place yeah right now i am settled i'm currently sharing 
um with this other lady i don't think um you guys are gonna see her i don't know we'll see if she's comfortable enough eventually you will get to see her but yeah i'm sharing with this other lady and she's been so kind to me man so yeah i'm settled i'm comfortable and i'm grateful and i just cannot wait to see what's gonna come out of this because i cannot go from all the way a job and then come here only to fail you know and one thing about nurses um who who came here for work like they really recommend that people do relocate to cape town because there is more opportunities job opportunities for nurses so yeah nami when i heard that i was like oh well i've always wanted to be in cape town so might as well go to cape town and yeah it was definitely not what i thought it was but nobody said it was gonna be easy so it's been an experience but i'm only getting comfortable now like i'm i'm only feeling at home now i'm only able to focus all my energies on job hunting now that i'm here you know and what i like about being here also is that like i've gotten out of my comfort zone you know by coming here alone that is me getting out of my comfort zone and at home i feel like i was getting comfortable but here yeah, i've got nobody here i want to eventually move out and have my own apartment here i want a lot of things for myself and i'm away from home so i need to make it count i need to make sure Guti, every minute every day counts basically so yeah so far i am very proud of myself i think i'm doing very well and that is not just on me that is god so yeah anyway i feel like i'm just gonna chill a bit hopefully um they, they will have fixed the water because we have a water problem today we woke up um to no water and i have not bathed i went to like an agency i went and saw people gazil, you know but yeah that's not where we at unfortunately there's not much i could have done about that the the the, the pipe a supplier amounts into this building burst just across the road so they are fixing that and then i can take a shower make food and update my cv i want to also work on my cover letter and then um also contact a lady smith hospital because i do need my letter of completion from them because the, the agent is do wanted since isang has not changed my status from community service professional nurse to registered nurse you understand so yeah i'm just gonna do those things but um for today i feel like i've done a lot and i'm proud proud of myself period yeah so i think i just need to rest a bit and wait for the water to come back in zokeza gile and then probably just like in sebenze kangane and then go to bed and i go to bed early today because last night slept very late don't know why but yeah i'm trying to work on my sleeping routine and yeah this video is too long yeah so yeah <laughs> we'll talk Wait guys, did you say check us hyper? Is it prank a fell prank a fell or what? You're not down there. Just like small groceries. I actually want a, a lunch bag. That's why I ended up these are last specifically, you know? So yeah. No check us Lona uh, check us hyper guys. <laughs> Some cool well. <laughs> wow Kando. So I think these are suitcases, my school bags. I think maybe the next I belongs to like another in the lunch bag. Yo guys, I've been looking for these. I'm so happy. How many jobs there are in this store? Hopefully, I'll find something. Oh, there's purple. I like it. I also check purple. My guys, what's in there? It's all like in, but. Definitely a crazy store. I'm counting on it right now. Hey, you guys. I last spoke to you yesterday. It's another day now. 
I'm still at work, like it's still the same shift, my first, first, first shift, you know, it's just like after 12 right now. I can't believe I'm at work. <laughs> Guys, and currently I am struggling, you know, like if you are a nurse, but I don't think it's, not, it's just with nurses, like I think everyone, if you are new to a place and you've never worked there before people work differently so like you struggle like the first day is a struggle because you're still trying to understand what is the routine um documents documents that they use here are not the same as the documents they use in kzn and they're not the same as the documents they use in Joburg. so <laughs> i'm still trying to understand the documents <sighs> everything is a lot but i'm surviving it's almost one so i've survived most of the shift i'm just working with um very helpful people guys like ens and enas are the most helpful people because i'm like if you are now in nice to them you're kind they're definitely gonna help you so i'm working with really nice people who are helping me i am so happy but yeah anyway um it's my lunch I'm probably gonna have an energy drink and then maybe like have, take a nap and then when I get up I'm gonna go and like do the last routine and then from there I'm gonna get ready to give reports you know like yo everything is different guys the stats plus it's the first night shift to me now hey like this is my first night shift as a professional nurse in latest myth I never worked night shift because comms they do not work night shift so imagine you are on night shift only pn don't know this word don't know the documents kill me again <laughs> but yeah no one is dying everything is under control and the nurses are helpful love them so much Jim. so yeah just wanted to give you guys a little updates i'm tired but um we've pushed we've pushed and yeah if i can just get through e morning report then i'll be happy then i'll be good you know but i'm proud of myself guys <laughs> i'm proud of myself Jim. not gonna lie my hair is a mess but i'm proud i'm a proud girl period <laughs> i'll talk to you guys tomorrow I'm at Starbucks, came to get coffee, but like I came at the mall to buy Ama clubs because my feet went through a lot of trauma last night. Like it was, I was wearing like really uncomfortable shoes, so yeah, you can imagine, you can imagine. So I came to get Ama clubs, guys, and yeah, my feet are painful. Just gonna get coffee and go straight home, your Lala, because I am. I'm working again tonight, that's the thing. I'm working again, so yeah. And it's 10, it's 10, it's almost 10, but it's fine. I'm gonna tell you guys that I can get a complaint, I'm complaining because it was me who was praying with him, call him seven, or he was seven, the bank will come at eight, and so now that it's happening, like I cannot complain because I'm gonna sound really ungrateful, so yeah. Just waiting for my coffee, then we're gonna go. Hi guys, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Diagoa, 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 guys, I don't even want to talk about it because I'm gonna start crying on camera and I don't want to. But, um, like, when all of this has passed, I'm definitely going to tell you guys or like fill you guys in because it's not like something that is personal. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah, it's nothing personal. If anything, I've learned a lesson not to like 
share anything personal on my channel but yeah guys in go i'm going through a lot i'm going through the most um but on the bright side tomorrow i have an interview and i'm currently preparing for the interview my first interview ever i'm so nervous but yeah hopefully everything is gonna go well i'm trying to stay prepared even though there's everything going on right now I'm go well, but yeah yo guys yo anyway let me switch off this camera before i start crying again but in their goa guys yo in their goa shem so when everything is fine i promise you when i come back here i'm gonna be smiling but i'm gonna be coming back with good news hi guys i know i look like a mess i slept with my makeup Um, Jacko, <laughs> Jacko, guys. Um, but um, yesterday I did go to the interview, and I believe it went well. I prepared, I tried my best, and I believe I also did my best there by that interview. I'm just not putting everything in God's hands, honestly. Yo, the way like challenging questions man man yeah and yeah I, I and now i keep on thinking about those words oh my god oh my god why did i answer like that your voice doesn't challenge it but it's not gonna help me in any way because i can't undo <laughs> i can't go back and redo the interview <sighs> i'm not confident enough i've been like trying to be confident like yes i got this i got this but honestly i'm not there were other people there and maybe it's the comparison if it's okay they it looked like they've got more experience they probably knew exactly what to say they've been to private and yeah, i was just worried about a lot of things i am worried about a lot of things so yeah guys job hunting is not easy okay not easy and this whole week has not been easy i'm literally just trying to put myself together because so i'm just trying to put myself together you know do i chin up and beg a pan and be positive i'm trying to i'm even struggling to talk i just had coffee but i'm even struggling to talk guys like yo but um trying to go on the mediclinic website to check for like job advertisements or my vacancies and apply because getting an interview does not mean that you got a job you just got a chance so it's a big question and get to know you basically but yeah, I'm just gonna apply, see where I can apply while waiting for their response. They said they're gonna respond next week, Friday. Cannot wait. Like, it's too far. Today is Friday. Friday, the 17th of March. The ocean any Friday, like the lifestyle of a weekend. Guys, I'm. Let me stay calm. Yeah, Let me stay calm. Yeah, Friday is too far. I don't know what I'm gonna do to, like, keep myself busy and stop thinking about this <sighs> yeah i just wanted to update you guys i look like a mess i feel like a mess but i'm gonna be fine i'm gonna be fine yeah i don't know when i'm gonna talk to you guys i'm also just trying to like i mean vlog okay i'm fading to vlog because of jacoba and I'm trying to edit the videos that I do have. I'm just failing to be present in anything at this point. And I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do to just stay focused and stay positive And like just get so soon on the in this whole thing. I'm gonna talk to you guys some other time. I don't like crying on the camera. I mean, a papa. Hey guys, it's a few hours later. I've managed to get out of bed, 
clean and clean myself up um i'm gonna go to the mall and see if i can just do something nice for myself you know i feel like i deserve it i've been going through a lot of things that i don't deserve so i'm just gonna spoil myself a little bit just try to make myself feel better so i'm probably gonna have a nice meal nice coffee buy myself a few things i don't know but anything that can uplift my spirit we're definitely trying that today so yeah let's go let's go i can't find my bank card but thank god i've got apple pay so i can use my phone to pay but yeah i'm gonna be using my phone i can't find my bank card the thing is my room is a mess so i cleaned the bathroom and the kitchen and whatever it's just not my room it's a mess let me show you guys Mhm. Mm yeah so yeah i will tackle this when i come back one thing at a time don't want to overwhelm myself so now that the bathroom and the kitchen are clean spider oh my god oh guys you are okay as i'm in you in Zela, isn't the Zizin thing? I guys, and now you see energy of vlogger. I literally forget to vlog, but I'm gonna try to vlog today. Am I getting lost? Where's the surprise? Bras and things. I'd like to go, but not yet. I'm still broke, so I think I'm gonna go to Mr. Price, get me some lingerie. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like? This could be real life If we had something to prove Life would be normal Also on period panties Because I need them I'm looking for a size large I can't wait uh -uh, But these are bright These are bright as well as I Yo When did I start being a large? So I'm gonna have to take these Cause they look cute Day in a formal, I could be happy with you. Primitive passion, human reactions, putting it all on the line. This could be real life, but why do I? I am so surprised with me now. This exclusive book. <laughs> wow. But I'm looking for a specific book. This is a book I'm looking for. It was recommended by Unogwanda, one of my friends. And it's only 260, so why not? And I forgot how to vlog, guys. Like, I'm literally forgetting to vlog. Anyway, I met Margaret Bean. <laughs> and I'm having a cafe latte, and I forgot what's the name of this thing. But I am eating. I've already started eating. Know <laughs> your where you go, I follow, no matter how far. If life is a movie, know you're the best part. Oh, you're the best part. Oh, best part. If you love me, won't you? Hey, guys! My new friend, Chama, then, oh. Hi guys, Don Kalisa. Hi, nice, so cute. I love you. <laughs> guys uh, you won't believe uba who just got permanently employed like you know <laughs> guys i have a job like there's a sign there. 
I know you guys have not seen her. She's been here for two days. We just received a call. Marie, when can you start? But you me, guys. I've got a permanent job. One thing about God, guys. One thing about God. And you know, when I think about when I was saying good to you, like for this vlog, then like I wanted it good to eBay. Was it you? Mm -hmm. Even like, and then there's just this one missing piece here, puzzle, yeah, and he just nailed it and completed it. And hello, <laughs> I am so happy. Like, I don't know how to behave. I signed up. We're looking for like a scream. I'm just gonna get a little. Don't scream. Be happy, but do. You know, it's not about that's fine with expressing your feelings. Uh huh. Now, we won't see it, though. Yo, uncle. <laughs> Uncola, because you guys, you know that anxiety that you get post interview. It was dealing with me. Well, pause, well, well, passed out. <laughs> pause, guys, a bottle of wine, passed out, stressing. The next day, I was struggling with appetite, and I feel like I can eat now. Now I can you eat. Haven't I haven't been eating. I ate once day before. Goodness, once again. I didn't really, guys. I've been stressing. Burger King, you didn't finish it. It's still in the fridge. It's still in the fridge. Um, you had a smoothie. That's it. The other day, you didn't even want to eat anything. You were I just couldn't eat water. anything. Like when I'm stressing, guys. Like when I have stress, trust me. I'll be wanting to eat, but food is like no, ma'am. We don't want to go to your stomach. So, yeah, I, I'm so happy. I am so happy. <laughs> makeup that day was after interview and I passed out ngalala in a makeup. Guys my ride is almost here. I'm so grateful. Asana is going to register with an agency. Why No I will come with you to go to I'll go movie, it do, but we can't do much about it because our hair The child. dark circles got darker. I think it's because we're stressing. Guys, we've been going through it all. We've been going through it all. Mina, if yeah, you saw me in Kambala, I started and you just see like, hey, well, is this girl, is it her? It was me. I was just going through it all. I'm going to be back in my hot girl era. I'm so happy. Um, you can take my key. I don't think I'll be leaving. Guys! Modi Modi Aubocca 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 so excited please lock me in buy a sander all the best <laughs> okay <laughs> guys i'm so happy hi guys i think i'm back in my vlogging girl era <laughs> yo i'm making coffee i am so hungry but i think i wanna have coffee first and then i'll think of something to eat i don't have eggs <sighs> But no eggs, son. But um, coffee will do for now. I think I'm back in my vlogging girl era. Like, I literally stopped vlogging. Was it for like two weeks or a week? I don't know. But I was not vlogging as as I usually do, you know. As what I know, basically. Like, I did not have the energy, the strength the willingness la 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 i was just so discouraged about the guys yes not having a job and just waking up every day and hope he's somewhere someone is reading your cv and considering you for a job interview like it's it's hectic it's hectic so yeah <laughs> i'm from a very dark time in my life i was just like you know what 
I don't have the energy to be vlogging like I'm not in a good space to be vlogging consistently because there's nothing to show there's literally nothing to show I'd wake up <laughs> clean if I have to clean chill in my bed try to edit some clear edits I try to vlog and clear vlog I try to watch something and the next thing also i'll say because the day is gone by and i haven't done anything except apply maybe for like two or three jobs on some days i was not even applying i was just i was just so over this job hunting thing <laughs> but god guys god is faithful you know i'm still shocked that i tando Luito Hadebe, have a permanent job in cape town hello that's what i came here for please you know um one thing i've learned from social media or twitter people who tweet about Tandaza and asking god for what you want people have always mentioned the fact that when you pray and ask god for something you need to be specific and tell them what to god i want imoto eganjena I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want that. Then you work towards it. Trust me, God will provide. And that is something different that I did with my prayers this year, which was being specific in the way that I pray. Which I know before would just be like, God, I need a job in Comsevens and Comsevens and just pray for a job. But this time around, Utando prayed for a permanent post in Cape Town. Utando prayed for a permanent post in Mediclinic. Don't know why. <laughs> Mediclinic Utando prayed for a permanent post in Mediclinic Pediatric Ward. So I was very specific in terms of what I wanted from Sibin's Army. And God gave me exactly that. He gave me Cape Town. He gave me a permanent post. He gave me Mediclinic. He gave me Pediatric Ward. You can't tell me that is not God. Cannot. Those are the things I asked for was deliver as they are and i am forever grateful now we just pray for a healthy working environment healthy interactions with staff and patients or not patients the parents because my patients are babies guys you're you remember i told you that i love babies i think babies and it's easier to work with them god gave me exactly that so whatever that you're praying for just be specific and god is gonna provide that for you without a doubt guys without a doubt just have faith just have faith okay tell yourself that god is faithful and he's gonna do that thing for you if you believe and if you say it with your mouth it's gonna come to life last year people that i was communicating with last year no I, I, there wouldn't be a day that will go by without me mentioning that i'm going to cape town and i'm gonna leave there and i'm gonna get a job there and 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 look at god i used to say this every day every day every single day i think people were annoyed at, at some point every day i'd be like nah chill i'm gonna cape town look at me now look at me look at me guys oh my god i am so grateful anyway um i'm gonna go and edit a vlog there's a vlog that i want to edit yeah but I think it's an important part of my journey <laughs> so i'm gonna edit it and i'm gonna upload it i feel like i don't care much about like the number of views i'm gonna get on that vlog no 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 even on my vlogs because i've learned that over time the the views do grow so i'm not too worried Uguti, if i post today then i need to have 800 views by tomorrow like i'm just documenting my journey and hopefully one day when I look back, I will see what thing you put my and I'm gonna be so proud of myself and you guys are gonna be proud of me as well. And some of y'all are gonna be inspired. So let us go and edit, shall let us go and edit. It's just black coffee. Cheers. Hi guys, so the last time I spoke to y'all, I was still at my place. I'm currently on my way to my new workplace. Um, we're going to be like signing documents. They've already sent me the job offer. I am so happy. Like, <laughs> can you see? Can you see my face? I'm so happy. So I'm on my way there. I'm gonna chat to you guys when I get there. I don't want this vlog to be too long. I know it's long already. Like, I know it's 
long because we've been we've been at it but yeah i'm so grateful man i am so grateful going there with a grateful heart and yeah i cannot wait to literally sign and then know that i am the girl <laughs> for the job <laughs> anyway i'm also trying to edit here i'm almost done with editing um today is a uh, thursday so i want to upload tomorrow or today if i can so yeah i'll talk to you yo uh, guys i am here and i am in disbelief in shock yes, Anna, imagine the center if i faint here at least i can just go in there but god is so good god is great guys oh my god i'm gonna chat to y'all once i've done everything that i need to do then i'm gonna go and see my friend i have a new friend and then what else am i gonna do i wanted to get myself flowers today but i don't have pedestals so where am i gonna put those flowers because i want them inside my room i'll get them when i finally have a new place once i get my own place then definitely we're buying those flowers baby because i deserve them period anyway i'll talk to you guys sana i just spent two hours in there look who has a personal portfolio me guys me <sighs> guys yo <laughs> i don't even know how to act i literally cannot stop smiling like i'm trying i'm trying and i don't want to force it i actually don't want to stop smiling guess Anna, because hi bo a whole entire of me just signed and accepted a job offer if there's anyone looking at me they're probably like it is girl mad <laughs> anyway guys i want to request my ride then we're gonna go home i don't know if i'm gonna go straight to my friend my new friend or what but yeah i'm just gonna decide after talking to you guys but this is so cute let me also that is for the thumbnail so yeah <laughs> Zonke zaminyas fate lo makala Ginchela ni sofila Itu bali sekunda Pelu Ah! I need to say happy guys I'm a puta ya yenze Puta ya yenze It's gonna be a great show Not gonna lie I can't wait to open my personal portfolio period that's mine <laughs> let me show you guys i want you guys to look at this ah! <laughs> period period guys period period oh my god i am in disbelief disbelief Gassana. but but one thing about my god he did that he did that and I cannot be more grateful than what I am right now. Like, I've never been so grateful in my life, guys. I've been smiling since I left that building. Actually, since I got there, I've just been smiling. I literally cannot stop smiling. I even took pictures. I was like, go and do something for the thumbnail or whatever. And I've just been so happy. Like, and my mom, one thing about my mom, she is so proud, you guys. Like, she's the proudest mom ever right now and i'm so happy for her i'm not just happy for myself but i'm happy for my mom as well i'm happy for my siblings because if i'm working baby we're all good we are all good poverty is just a thing of yesterday to us now <sighs> anyway 
um i just want to like tidy up a bit i did leave a mess here when i was taking my documents and then i'm gonna go and see oh bobby 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 girl yeah let me just do that quickly i don't want to stay here for too long because can you go celebrate i want to dance i want to want to listen to music uh, but no we won't be going to like a place where we can listen to music but but yes and mundo is student okay we are here i think the lighting here is terrible do you want me to write for you sana agumanji content creators <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh my guys. So From the way I see things, I don't have to look cute all the time. I can just wake up, grab my camera, and just talk to each other. So if it's less admin, then I'm happy. The editing is like, yeah, the down part of it, but it's nice. I enjoy it too. So what's like it, guys? It's like so shows at the man, Jay. I only had coffee and then when I went excitement. No, when you go I couldn't eat. I, I struggle with appetite when I'm not well, when I'm stressing a lot. I was not eating morning I just jumped so it's so loose. I'm like, baby girl, did you just lose some weight? <laughs> what happened? I was at peace band. This is nice. Nice. I only get to the point when I'm like used to you. But Jay, I'm officially interested. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is so cute. Show me a Valentine's. I'm so long. next year Valentine. Did you get some pictures? This is Valentine's. Valentine's. Sana. Sana. This lady just gave us roses. How cute. I did not get anything for Valentine's. So I guess this is my Valentine's gift. <laughs> The Lord of God is omnipotent. I'm making oats, man. The Lord of God, He is wonderful. This song has been stuck on my head since I woke up. What a blessed day. What a beautiful day. I'll praise us, speak to the King. Of kings, yes, the Lord our God, He is wonderful. A all praises speak to the King of kings, yes, the Lord our God, He is wonderful. And it goes. been stuck on my head guys i've been singing it anyway i don't have canisters so i've been living like this and i'm gonna be living like this until i get my own place my own 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 place to stay here i'm sharing right now i'm sharing with someone so yeah they've got their own things and i don't want to buy things here i want to buy things for my place because obviously i'm gonna need to see the place how it looks the aesthetic and then decide on the colors you can't buy in j Jane, Jane, Jane could, but I'm choosing not to. So yeah, but I'm currently looking for a place to stay now that I know where I'll be working permanently. Okay, so yeah, now I can get me a place to stay. So, so much sugar. You could manjalo. You could manjalo, guys. This is a lot of sugar. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a lot. Okay. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I woke up like about two hours ago, and the first thing that I did was 
finish editing a vlog so i'm currently uploading and it's gonna be live today today is a friday the 24th of march so i'm uploading that video i did say korea but it's important i want it there i want it to be on my channel so please watch it guys i'm gonna put it here <laughs> please watch it please anyway um i think this vlog has come to an end i am so happy i feel so blessed i'm so um, I don't even have words, guys. You know, exactly how I had imagined it. When I came here, I had a plan for my vlog is gonna go like this, like this, like this, like that. And God gave me exactly that. So, ends on Shia now, guys, today. I'm not a motivational speaker, so I'm not gonna motivate you or whatever. <laughs> what I want to say to you guys is that um, if anything is possible, whatever that you want for yourself, it's possible. If God has given you a vision or an idea, it is possible to achieve that because he would not give you the idea if you cannot even reach that. So I want you guys from now on to just step out in faith, believe in God, believe in whatever that you want and go for it always. So whether you have a plan or not, a plan is just do it. Don't think too much about things. If you want to be in UK, in the UK, whatever, do it. If you want to relocate to a different city, but you don't have a job or whatever, if there's an opportunity or there's a chance of you getting a job, just do it. You will, God will provide. God is going to provide. Pray, be specific in your prayers, and God will never, ever disappoint you guys. That's all I can say. I'm still in disbelief. Yesterday, I signed um, and accepted the job offer. So the job is officially mine. But I'm still in disbelief, like, I will, God, that is exactly what I asked for, and you gave me exactly that. So, just step out in faith, guys. Just step out in faith, trust yourself, trust your God, and you will see what's going to happen in your life. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen this year, because I've got a lot of big goals and big dreams, if I may call it that. And I will continue praying, I will continue working towards what I want, you know. And don't don't be looking at other people. Just focus when I'm on your own race. Focus on your goal and be happy for other people. Before when especially your friends. Actually everyone, man. Just be happy for your friends, be happy for your family members, be happy for strangers on social media, be happy for everyone, and don't say, God, why not me? Because your time is coming. That's all I can say. So just focus. When on your goals, trust God, work towards it, you will see miracles. Sana. Like I said, I'm not a motivational speaker, so that was not even motivational. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to see you guys on my next vlog. Bye-bye. <laughs>